you hear the brand and tagline human power movement and it's so applicable you know to all this stuff my own legs attached to like my own body attached to my brain stem all those things put together and being able to move 100 miles on a god-given day like 24 hours i think that's so cool like how isn't that cool to you to say i'm doing something how i was created not something that i bought from somewhere else i'm doing with what i was brought into this earth just on my own two feet and just Just about 24 hours ago, we started this whole thing, the Mid-State Massive 100 mile edition. Yeah, we, we started our conquest, if you will, to traverse through the state of Massachusetts after getting over the New Hampshire, Massachusetts border. Very rainy, very overcast, very windy, a little bit cold, but yeah, we, uh, we started this whole thing. Beginning nerves always happen. It's all good nerves. It's nerves that you care and you care about what you're doing, care about what you're running. Very loose, felt really in shape and ready to go. So no worries physically, um, but just excited to start that journey with my favorite people around me. Physically around eight station three, I was cruising and good. No, no complaints there. I was really happy with, with how I was feeling and felt confident that later on I could push harder if I had to. About, I think, a mile in, we started a pretty hefty climb, and that, again, was something I had to be very intentional about every single footstep I had, and going up and interchanging, going over roots, going over, like, mini boulders and all that. And I got to the peak of this climb, and it flattened out, which I thought was super cool. Started running a little bit. It was just the kind of pine straws up there and very little technical aspect to it. And then it came to one section, probably around a mile and a half after aid station three and about three and a half, eight, three and a half miles from aid station four, that there's about a 10 to 15-ish foot crossing, I'll say, of to my left is open exposed, look out into the Appalachia Valley. And then right in front of me is about 20 degree slanted rock that's just slab all the way down this mountain. I started that little 10, 15 foot of stretch and I ended up uh, halfway in. My left foot gave out and I slipped to the left and I tried to brace myself, kind of banged my head, if you will, on the side of that rock slab. And after that, like I remember myself woozy and getting up, but I don't remember like the next probably 20-ish minutes. Uh, watch out. Come over here. Yeah. So I need to talk with everyone. Might need to see someone. So kind of going in and out. Being as woozy as I was and I started running forward immediately and just kind of like black flashes in my eyes. Like the next 20 minutes out, it's just kind of a blur. I mean, I was somewhat kind of going in and out. My eyes were kind of just fluttering. Um, again, I just felt like I had a constant cobweb in my brain, so it kept just shaking out like this. Like looking back on it, I don't think I'd change a thing knowing I can run 100 miles and attempt to run 100 miles some other time. I can attempt to run any of these races another time, but I only have one brain. It, it was what it was and we, we dealt with it, we assessed, I asked questions, and then I think, what, it was about 20 minutes we were at that aid station, we like made a decision to drop. Uh, 36, so I'm gonna drop here. Good choice. Yeah. Good choice. In a very unfortunate and untimely event that was going so well, even with missed turns. With, with all of it going on, it was still such a good time until like just something like that can happen and deter, and that's, that's okay, that's just, life happens it's it's how it goes so hardships are meant to be there to give you lessons to learn and then you learn from those lessons it's just how how life is <laughs>